Wow. I like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome. If you're new here, welcome to the Alex and Tara family. Make sure you subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, hey friends, how you doing today? We're doing a review. I've been reaching out to brands. I'm trying to rack up the reviews. So I actually reached out to this brand. Oh, I hope I really don't like mispronounce it. I think it's Uchi. Uchi. It's right here. Um, it is a hair a hair brand yay we're doing natural hair today and yeah i reached out to them their uh instagram looks really nice and cool and just it just looks like a product i wanted to try uh they have a beautiful model on there with beautiful big hair and that just kind of drew me in so i hit them up asked them if they could send some products over to review and they did so Thank you. Uh, they sent over three of the four things that they have on their line. I haven't, I opened up the bag, but I haven't opened up the products yet. But we have three things here. Let me open them up. Tell you one thing, there's nobody getting in this. They wrap these up, like this is wrapped, honey. Okay, so the first is a leave-in conditioner. It says it hydrates and detangles. Uh, says God dry hair this moisturizing leave-in conditioner is perfect for infusing moisture and detangling dry type 4 curly coily or curly hair apply to hair after shampooing or to refresh hair spray on clean hair from roots to ends don't rinse out style as usual so I did just wash my hair let's smell it first actually oh it smells really good it has like a light citrusy smell which smells really good we'll test it you'll see the consistency when um we go through the other two i did also reach out to them and ask them what uh they wanted me to let you guys know uh, they are a black owned brand which is you know yeah! yes here for the black owned brands of course and their products are designed for type 4 hair i do have 3c to 4b so a majority of the 3C is like right in the front and all the way in the back so everything else is for uh, 4A or for 4B so I feel like it'll work perfect for my hair okay the second product is the hair pudding which seals and protects okay so it says got dry hair yes I do I have the, I have very dry hair so this is moisturizing hair pudding perfect for dry type 4 curly coily or curly hair applied to damp hair while braiding or twisting works well with leave-in conditioner spray use hair pudding after spraying conditioner to hair to seal and moisture got it okay so we're going to be using this also i was going to do a wash and go but i don't think these products are really made for that and i don't have the gel and i don't want to throw a gel on top of these products so what i'm going to do is twist my hair up so I'm just going to do my regular two strand twist all around my hair and then tomorrow because I know my hair is not going to be dry tonight. It's drying right now. Oh, my hair takes forever to dry so I'm going to wait until tomorrow and then we'll finish a review when I get off of work. Okay so the last product they sent me was a curl enhancing custard and this is to define your natural Coil says got dry hair, moisturize and define your natural coil or curl pattern. The moisturizing custard will define moisturize and keep your natural kinks. Um, it is a medium soft hold. Apply evenly to damp hair. Smooth the custard into sections for defined curls. Apply or curl primer, which they also have um, on their line of curl primer, but they didn't send that. Um, and use. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> so they didn't send the curl primer. I think that's the only thing that they didn't send me. I believe there's four things on their line. So yeah, I'm interested. I'm definitely into it. This is definitely for our four, our range of four. So for A, four B, four C, this is definitely dedicated to you and people with dry hair. So like I said, most of my hair is four, so it should be good for me. And I have extremely dry hair, so I'm really curious to see if this works. I really hope it does because I am looking for some, for some new products. If you have some black on um, brands that you want me to try out, whether it's clothing, hair, 
or just any type of lifestyle you guys should know the drift of my channel if you see anything that you would like me to review make sure you comment down below or uh, here's my Instagram link make sure you follow me on Instagram you can tag me in places you want me to try and I'll reach out and I'll see what I can do all right so my hair I literally just got out the shower so my hair is productless and the shampoo I use, I used, uh, what is Whitney's brand? I'm gonna, oh, Melanin Hair Care. I used her shampoo, which is really, uh, it really takes every ounce of moisture out of my hair. I did obviously use a conditioner after that, so it is a little moisturized, but it's a little stripped. So this is really gonna test. It's really going to be good for this type of product since it says that it's going to help with moisture. Let's see. Leave-in conditioner. Let's see. It says onto the roots. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is really watery. Oh, it's dripping. She's dripping. Usually not my preference. And I'm surprised for 4C. I feel like the creams work better. But let's see. I'm not going to overdo it because I don't know what it's going to do. So it's starting to foam up. It's a lot of product, you guys can see. It has a very, oh, you guys can hear it. I think I used too much. Oh, it's, it's like, <laughs> it feels like there's like shampoo in my hair. Let's try to work it through. I'm gonna take some of this excess leave-in and throw it back here. It's definitely raking through. My hair looks extra hydrated though, look at that. Okay, so you guys can see better. Um, definitely looks hydrated. I'm looking through the, um, you see a lot of this. Okay, so I see that you can't use too much, especially if you're gonna go section by section like I am. It's probably better to use a smaller amount because a lot goes, a little bit goes a long way with this, I can tell. So I'm just throwing this back there. We'll go through the sections when I go through it, but I mean, so far, look at, you know, this is my hair with, n with nothing in it. Look how hydrated this looks already. This is gonna go into another section, but yeah. I'm feeling that. I'm really surprised because usually this isn't my go to, you know, like a water based leave in. Usually I love the creams, but that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not gonna apply any more. Let's go to the next. We're gonna put in the custard last. Let's put in some of this hair pudding. We're just gonna use all three of these. Oh wow. Okay, so this is what the custard looks like. It's kind of like a, it's not super sticky. It's kind of like a watery, like whipped, but it's watery. Does that make sense? It's like whipped and watery at the same time. Like it looks more whipped. It looks whipped, but when you touch it, it's like watery whipped. That's as good as a description you guys are going to get because that's as close as I can call it. It's like a pale, 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 pale pink cream color. I'm only going to use a small amount and then we'll work it up if necessary. I don't want to go through the same thing we just went through. So I'm going to use this much as on my hands and let's rake it through. Smell. It smells, you know what it smells like? It smells like baked goods. That's what it smells like. It smells like baked goods. It's really flowing through my hair though. I will say that. It's just gliding through my hair, which is pretty cool. This is how the curls is looking. Not looking super dry anymore. I wish I would have went back a little bit more, but I can't see, so don't judge me for my parts. Um, yeah it looks extra hydrated look at that yeah she's looking hydrated she's looking good i get it i get what you mean by hydrate 
if your hair is dry your hair is gonna like this my hair is, is definitely feeling this okay last thing before we twist this baby up is the custard okay so the custard is a an off-white it's like a tan beige -ish color let's see how it feels oh it feels like a jelly it's bouncing now it doesn't have such a strong hold so this is why I wouldn't be able to use this at, uh, for a wash and go but I think this is a really good consistency for a twist out or for a braid out because it's so loose and soft of a hold it's not going to like you know I have tight ass <laughs> like you know when you have like when you use like a we used to use eco styler gel back in the day like pounds of it for a leave-in and your hair would just be stuck like this is going to have your hair like moving and flowing and I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping this consistency should you know be able to do that so I'm not gonna take a lot I just have some right on my fingertips because I'm not you know going into a um, a large uh, section so we'll see how this does let's work this in I'm going to use my fingertips to rake it through oh it smells really good the combination of smells smells good let me see what it smells like by itself it doesn't really smell too much it has like a soft hint of I don't know um yeah so here's how she's looking before the twist she looks good I'm not gonna lie she looks good she looks hydrated you know comparison to this with no product in it you know it definitely looks hydrated it looks shiny which I like and yeah so I'm gonna twist her up I'm just gonna do a simple two strand twist I love for my twist to look plump. This looks pretty plump. I'm gonna just twist the ends here. Here's how she's looking. Wow. I like that. Feels nice and moisturized. There's no oil in my hair. It looks good. It looks good. All right, let's do <laughs> let's do another section. And then the rest, because it is hot in front of this light, I'm going to do off of camera. Forgive me, but we're going to do off of camera. Okay, so let's do another one. Okay, so we're going to take the leave-in, throw that on the scalp. This time, not a lot. Three skirts. Ooh, that's cold. And let's work that in. Okay, we are going to take the hair pudding to use just a finger's worth probably could use a half a finger more because the section is a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna rake it through this smells like it smells like cookies it smells like oatmeal cookies with vanilla and cinnamon that's exactly what this smells like it smells like grannies and them popping cookies in the oven that's what this smells like. Not bad. Let me hit these roots up a little bit because they're looking a little, a little left out of the party. My hair's been extra dry lately because it is hot AF in New York. So this came right on time. All right, now let's hit it with the custard. Now this has great slip. Could be because there's a whole bunch of products in here already, but this is gliding, baby. Oh, hey, how you doing? How are you doing? Wow. 
Okay. Oh, I'm excited for this twist out. I am excited for this twist out. Okay, so let me twist this one up. Wow, look how shiny, pretty, twist it up. And here else it's looking. What do you guys think, right? Looks nice and plump and healthy, like it goes to the gym and drinks water and eats good and only veggies. It looks vegan and pescatarian, I don't know, everything I'm not. <laughs> it looks good though, right? I like it. Okay, so, I'm gonna finish all of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so part one is done and I'm impressed. You know who the true winner is? The true winner in this collection is this custard. This custard, I, I'm, I'm in love with this custard. No, they sent this to me, but I probably, when I'm done with this, I probably will be rebuying this custard because it is so good. And now I wanna try it by itself, so I'm definitely gonna do that. I don't know if it was a combination of products and then just this just ending it off that made me love it so much, but I love the curl. Like, look at the babies, the my little teenage hairs. I don't think I have any other products besides, well, probably some of the leave-in. The other one probably got on here too. But this is just, I just put a little bit on and it's just curling me up. Like I really, really, really like this. Now what I look for in a twist out is for my hair to look really moisturized. I like it to expand a little bit and it did all of that. My hair feels super hydrated and that's what I was looking for. So yeah, when they say it's gonna be hydrated, oh yeah, it's definitely gonna throw some hydration in that hair for you girl. Yeah, you guys are about to see what it looks like when I take this down. Guys, don't hate me. I accidentally... So I thought I was recording when I started taking these out and I wasn't. I'm using melanin hair oil to take these down. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I had some good slow work camera, um, slow camera work going on, but... Uh, I forgot to press record. Here's how it's looking. I took out the front too gonna look really good when I start picking this out I will be picking this out so yes yeah, so that's how one is looking and this is how the second one's looking let's take this one out it looks crazy right now the ones that are out but let me work it I got it let me work it baby That's what it's looking like. Very, very pretty. So here's how it's looking. I haven't done any picking. All I have done is just taken the twists out. So this is what we're working with. I had to go off the camera to finish picking this out. I did my edges, which I normally would do, and here's how we're looking. Okay, so I have a lot of things to say. So, for the leave-in conditioner, I did like it. I like the fact that when I put it in, my hair really kind of started to curl up with it, which is a good sign of a... I like, I like leave-in conditioners that can kind of do work on their own, so I think this will be a really good refresher. Only thing is, since it is water-based, it will revert your hair back to being wet rather than you know dry so I wouldn't be able to use it on a style like this because I like to use more cream products to refresh my hair when it's in a fro or 
you know some type of style similar to this so that it doesn't weigh it down i need it to be as like light as possible but i do like this i would probably use this when my hair is soaking wet so that it moves a little bit easier when my hair was a little bit drier it just had a little trouble getting from this strand to that strand you know like moving or moving around but i'm definitely going to try this again as far as the hair pudding goes whew, this one smells the strongest this one has like that that scent but I I liked the hair pudding it really didn't do so so much for me but I think that it did enough that it kind of had a nice layer in between the leave-in conditioner and the custard I really like the consistency of it it was really light and really easy to use and my hair really kind of soaked it up if I did want to go straight to like a wash to a fro this would have been good for that because it's not going to give me so much of a curl but it's going to give me some type of moisture so that's what I really like this this is really moisture based so if you're going for like a, a fro you put in your leave-in conditioner I would probably just put this in after because of how light it is so I did like the hair pudding too I'll probably use it for styles like this so let's talk about this custard though and it's hot in here so my hair is taking in all of this humidity in this house it is so hot this light is hot so whoo Gonna get from over here. Okay, the curling enhancing custard is the one. It's the one. I'm definitely gonna be using this again. Only thing with this is that it has a medium soft hold. If it had a stronger hold, then my hair wouldn't be as frizzy in these areas. My hair would have taken to the curl well, but because it has such a, a, a soft hold, when I took the pick to it, it, it didn't have anything to kind of hold on to it kind of evaporated like you can see my curls still hanging on at the ends because it wasn't really my pick didn't really touch you know some of these parts of the ends if this was stronger then it would have uh, my curls would have lasted a little bit longer there wouldn't have been as much frizz but what I would want to do this again with my hair being wet I think that I would really really like this because I think I have to have it dry in a style that I want it in and then it would be easier if that makes sense so if I had like a wash and go and I wet this out picked it a little bit kind of gave it some oomph while putting this in I think that it would last longer I'm definitely that's probably the next thing that I'm going to do after this fro is done I'll probably use the leave-in conditioner put a little bit of the pudding and put this in when my hair is soaking wet like straight out the shower and I was if you guys follow me on Instagram then I will probably like in a week when this is done so I know I said I was going to do it in the week but I filled my hair up with the custard let me just show you guys what it looks like. See, it's taking better to my hair being wet. But I'm going to post a picture of how my hair looks when it's dry. Let's see if the curls last longer with my hair type for a wash and go. And we'll see how that works. Yeah, I mean, we'll, you'll be able to judge whether you guys like it better when it was dry with a twist out or like it better when it's wet as a wash and go. I don't mind my hair being not as defined. I mean, I wear froze all the time, all different type of froze. Some froze are more defined than other froze. With my hair, you never really know what you're gonna get. Um, even if I use the same products, you still don't even know what you're gonna get. But I'm not mad at it because I do love my froze, so. My hair is moisturized, it feels really good, it feels really soft. Because these products are so lightweight, my hair does not feel like it's weighing down at all. I don't feel like I need extra product in there to moisten it up. Usually the crown is my driest point. I'm feeling it right now and it does feel really moisturized. It feels good. And a combination with an oil, I will say, because I did put oil in my hair. But even before that, you guys are seeing how luscious and shiny my hair looked. And it did uh, withstand, it did hold the moisture. So that's good. So. But I will say I do really like this brand. I'll look forward to seeing what else they put out. Um, I would definitely try them if you are a four girl. Uh, if you do like big puffs, if you don't like something that's so tight like an eco styler gel which has like a hold of a 10. If you like something that has a little lighter of a hold. If you wear your hair in braids a lot like you know corn rolls or, or 
any type of styles like that that you keep even twists if you keep your hair in twists this is really nice for that because it's so light um i would definitely try it but yeah i'm really really happy okay so thank you for sending me the products i really do appreciate it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye